Hello everyone, hope you are always safe and healthy wherever you are. Today, I will be talking about conditional and looping at Automa. If you already know how to build a workflow using blocks, maybe you have a more complex workflow that needs conditions and loop data. For the first example, let me show you how to save image from Google Image using Automa that needs to loop many image elements on the result page and then save it one by one automatically. Okay, same as before, we will create a new workflow with a name maybe Google Image. Open this workflow and add new tab block here and type https image.google.com connect it with trigger block and click on the save button and then let's try to execute this workflow for the first time we will have the google image homepage and we need to type on this form input we need to know this element so we need to use element selector click on this form and copy the selector back again to the editor Add forms block here, paste the element selector and check wait for selector. On the value, we can type or maybe we will search baby cat. And the typing delay, we can use 160 milliseconds. Connect it with new tab. Also, we need to add press key block here with the same CSS selector. To simulate the form submit, we can Click on the detect key and press the enter button. Connect it with the forms block and then click on the save button. We will execute this workflow again. It will type baby cat and we will have the result page here. Now we will click on this image one by one and then save it automatically on the right element here. Okay. Now we need to know these elements. We can use the element selector and click on the list button here to capture the list of elements like this. Click on the image and then copy the CSS selector back again to the Automa editor. And we can add loop data block. For the ID, we can update to image and loop through select elements and paste the CSS selector like this and we can update the max data to loop maybe 5 so we need only 5 images on the loop data connect it with the previous block and then we need add the click element block of course it needs the element selector so we can go back again to the result page and click on this image. We have a new selector here. We can copy and paste on the element selector like this. We can update the ISLRC div to double curly brackets loop data at image like this. Okay. Now we can add the save assets block. We need to know the right element after we click on this image. We need to know this element. We can use again the Automa element selector, deactivate the list button, and click on this. Click on the right element here and copy the CSS selector back again to the editor and then paste the element selector like this. We can wait for selector and then we can connect it with the previous block like this. The last thing is we need to loop breakpoint to close the loop data here with the ID, image, and then connect it with the previous block. Okay, let's try to save and execute again. It will type baby cat and it will save automatically 5 images on the result page like this. Okay, now it works. What if 
we want to nest the loop or have a multiple loops in a workflow. I will show you in a same workflow we can do multiple search on Google Image. Here we go. Okay, it's easy. We can add a loop data block here and update the ID to keywords, loop through custom data, click on the insert data, and we can write like this baby cat dog and hamster maybe with a json format like this now we can remove this line and connect the trigger to loop data and connect it with the new tab for sure we need to update the forms value to loop data at keywords and close the brackets like this and then at the end we can add close tab and loop breakpoint to close the loop of keywords okay now click on the save button and let's try to execute this workflow it will search baby cat and will save five images of cat and then dogs with the five images of dogs and also with the hamsters okay now it will save to your computer like this now it's done let's go to the more awesome use case we will create a simple whatsapp bot using automa watch me out okay of course we need to create a new workflow with a name maybe simple bot open this workflow and add a new tab block here now type https web.whatsapp.com connect it with the trigger block here click on the save button and then let's try to execute this workflow make sure you have already sent in to your whatsapp web now we need to click this element one by one like this and then get the last message in the chat room here we need to use the element selector click on this and click on the chat list here copy the css selector back again to the editor we can use element axis to make sure the element has already axis try for 10 times with the 500 milliseconds time out here click or connect it with the new tab block here and then we can add a loop data block change the id to chats maybe and loop through elements paste the css selector here connect it with the previous conditions and then we can add trigger event to simulate the most done event back again to the whatsapp web and then click on the title of chat here copy the css selector and then paste the css selector to here and then change this to loop data add chats because it already exists on the loop data element selector here connect it with the previous block and then please take a look on the message list here we need to select this message list and then if we if we want to know the message that come from user is contents message in in the class attribute here like this and the message that come from this account it will have or it contents message out on the class attribute here so we need to make sure the last message in this chat room is come from user or contents message in in the class attribute value okay so we can copy this CSS selector and we need to add attribute value. Paste the element selector. On the div, we can add colon nth-last-child with the parameter 1 like this. And then select wait for selector here 
and we will get the attribute name class. We can assign it to a variable, maybe classes like this, and then we can add conditions. Edit the path one, maybe contains message in. Add conditions for the first value. We can get variables, add classes, contains, message in. Connect it with the previous block, and then we can get text block here. Okay, we need to select the text from the last message here. Like this, copy the selector and pass it to the element selector here. After div, we can add the colon and the dash last dash child parenthesis one and check a wait for selector. We can assign it to a variable, maybe text here and then we can add conditions too. Add conditions, edit part one, greetings, add conditions from the value, variables, add text. We can select equals with case insensitive here to the value hello or copy this variable, select case insensitive here with the value high like this connect it with the previous block and then we can send a replay message here so we need to know this element it has a title attribute here we can select this and then back again to the editor add forms block here from the element selector we can type title Type a message like this, wait for selector, and type maybe hello again, like this, with the delay maybe 200. Connect it with the previous conditions like this. Okay, now we need to click on the send button here. We need to click on the button like this. It have data test ID attribute. Now we need to add click element block with the element selector data test ID send like this. Okay, the last thing is add a loop breakpoint block with the text as a looped ID. Connect with the previous block and connect with the fallback conditions too. Okay, like this. Now we need to try to execute this workflow. Okay, it will type hello again on the chat room if the last message is hello and come from user. Okay, now let's try to change the trigger here to interval one minute, fixed delay, and then update new tab with switch tab here, type https web.whatsapp.com Come with the white card flag here and create if there's no match like this okay click on the save button and then try to execute this workflow now we need to simulate this bot I will chat on this bot maybe hi and then one minute 
it will replay hello again. Okay, it types hello again and send to my WhatsApp account. Now, if you want to add more conditions, you can add on this. You can click on the add conditions and edit at 2, 3, or 4. Now, it's done. It's a wrap. If you have any questions, join our Discord server. And please tell me what you want to know more about Automa by commenting below. Thank you for watching.